So again, of all the different option spreads, this will give you the biggest potential return uh, on your spread. So here's an example of Microsoft butterfly spread. So this was on the 29th of March, it was traded at 280.40. And we were looking for a, a directional move uh, targeting up to 290. All right, so we set this uh, butterfly up. So the max risk was $73 per spread and potential profit would be on the expiration of the 6th April. So that this had a potential to make, uh, if we went out at our target strike at 290, which I'll show you, on the expiration day of the 6th of April, this would be up $427 on that risk of 73. That's a 585% return or risking a dollar to make $5.85. So here's the original trade setup. This was doing a butterfly. We were targeting 290. Okay, so we went out and did the butterfly, bought the 285, 290, 295 butterfly, $75. That was the, the alert sent out. And then we had uh, the 31st, we had uh, some profit take, and then we uh, had some more profit take here. So it was up 60, and then at expiration, it went out almost max profit on this uh, Microsoft trade. So let's go through how this uh, worked out and what it looks like. Uh, if I can get rid of my drawing pen. All right, so here's the uh, initial trade setup when we started, it was right here on the uh, 29th of March, right right there. All right, so we had our markets we're looking, we were looking for a breakout up here. We were targeting into this kind of 290 area right there. All right, so we set the butterfly and that was our target 290. So then we had profit take on the 31st, it was trading at 287.61, pretty close to 290. And then on the expiration on the 6th, it was trading at 291.76 and it jumped up. It was trading a little bit above 290, but was very, very close to max profit. But the, the really big thing here, here is that the total cost of the trade was $73. So you can see if you're re really in an extreme high volatility market and you want to reduce your risk, this is a great way to do it through the use of a butterfly or even the long condor. So let's take a look at how this went out uh, on the trade. So here it was, the spread we were targeting 290 was the target. So we did that as the body of the butterfly. So we're long the 285, short the 290, short the 290, long the 295. So $5 wide spread, cost of the trade 73 bucks, $73 per spread. So theoretically, if it went out perfect at that butterfly target of 290, this would be at $427 or 585% return. So, you know, max potential profit. Now, you'll never get it perfect because it's hard to thread that needle, but you can get it pretty close a lot of times. So that's uh, where the trade started. Now, here it was um, on the 31st. It was trading right here at uh, 287.62. So this spread is $73, but look at this. So, so that went from... Uh, 73 to $1.37, the spread blew out, increased. So that's a $64 uh, profit right there on your risk of 73. That's an 87% return in three days. I mean, that's still a great return, right? 87% on your risk of $73. So not bad. And it still had the potential upside if it got here at expiration to make all of this money in here, all right? So these are great for kind of scaling out. You know, you take a little bit, you hold it, and you try to get into the expiration where all this black area is what's left of potential profit. And that's based on your time and your volatility price component still in the spread, which hasn't been sucked out. Now, here it was on expiration. So you can see this thing had overshot. It was trading at uh, 291.76, but it went from 73. Now it was up to $324. And so there's your profit of $251. Uh, or 343% return in eight days. So these are a great trade. You know, you just start scaling out and you leave a little bit, you hit a chip, you know, you singles, doubles, and, then, and eventually potentially hit kind of more of a home run with these types of butterflies. But if you're wrong, your, your trading risk was $73. So you can easily absorb that loss and live to trade another day versus having a bigger, you know, amount of money uh, that you're putting up at risk.